Hey guys, um, as I mentioned on the blog, I am looking for a replacement to my sort of like go-to winter outfit, which for the last couple of years has consisted of this, this. So um, it's great. It's great. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this. Um, this is a lowly puffer that is like insanely warm and insanely lightweight. These are an old pair of Sorrells that I still love. Um, it's just that I have worn this exact outfit almost daily for at least two winters now, and I'm just, I just need a change. I'm just sick of it. So um, if you read the blog, you can see I'm now um, shifting from maybe all black. I might try like tan for something crazy, tan boots for something crazy. Um, so yeah, so I thought I would just um, start with the boots because they're always the hardest and uh, we'll see what we get here. All right, so these are some of the boots that I have bought in an attempt to replace my black ones. So, all right, these are the boots we're replacing. They are, um, they're kind of like sneaker boots almost, but like waterproof and like high enough, just high enough to keep out the snow. And yeah, they were... They were great. <laughs> I mean, they're still great, but on to something new. Um, so yeah, let's try these. These are the ones that I had blogged about recently. Um, I like, they're up by Ugg. I like the, uh, the ties here. They have good traction on the bottom. So yeah, let's see what these look like. Okay, so these are the Uggs. They are, they are something, aren't they? Um, they they don't come up as high as I was hoping. Um, they're pretty they're pretty low. You're definitely going to see a lot of sock. Um, yeah, so that's one thing that surprises me. They fit a little bit more narrow. Um, they're definitely fitting narrower than my other Uggs, but um, Uggs do stretch out. These guys are waterproof. Um, I I don't I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm, <laughs> this, I don't know. I'm, I'm, they kind of hit funny. I don't, um, hmm. Okay. So here's one option. We'll see. I think I have to try it on with a coat maybe. All right. So these are the Uggs. They are, um, they are, um, like puffy, aren't they? They are puffy shoes, puffy boots. <laughs> They're giving me slightly strange proportions, but I I don't know. I might like them anyway. They are completely lined in that shearling stuff, and so you wouldn't necessarily need to wear socks other than the fact that they're so short. Um, yeah, all right. Interesting, right? Okay, so this was sort of the outfit I had in my head when I wrote that blog post. Um, I really wanted, like, something, you know, just, like, fresh and different, um, white puffer, tan furry boots um i don't know <laughs> i don't know guys um hmm. i was thinking that this would be a cute combination and i think it is this one might be a little i i thought this color would be a, more different from the shoes it's, they're a little matchy matchy for me Oh, so I like this way better. I like how the orangey tone in the laces kind of picks up the sort of like red or orangey tone of the faux leather here. Um, I think I think this one is too dark for these boots. That is what I think. So, all right. So these boots are by Boss and Co. And it's funny where the UGG boots were a little bit short and poofy. These are taller and sleeker. And I think I kind of want something in between. Like I would love for these to be a little bit more of a substantial boot. Um, the side is really cool though. Isn't that great? Um, but yeah, I feel kind of like, again, something is just off. Um, but so the details are, they are waterproof. These feel like they'd be really warm. They're actually really lightweight for winter boots. So they feel more like wearing my, um, old Sorrel sneaker boots. Yeah. I don't know. There's some potential here. Um, again, I don't like where it's hitting me off. It makes my legs look short. Um, hmm. Potentials. Okay. So these boots with this puffer are super cute. Super, super cute. Yeah. I love this combination. 
Um, they also look pretty cute with this jacket. Oh, hey. They also look cute with the um, sort of mid-tone um, faux leather puffer. Oh, they might even look better. The heck? Boots, I take back all the bad things I said about you. Look at you. Oh, baby, these are like the most foolproof boots. The heck? Ooh, I like it with the dark and the dark. Look at that. <gasps> Who would have guessed? Okay, so these these are actually pretty fantastic. They are um, Canadian. What are they called? The Canadian. Hold on, let me look. Haha, -ha, Royal Canadian. These are by Royal Canadian, um, a Canadian-based company. So they definitely know serious cold. And they are not nearly as heavy as they look. They actually look really substantial and heavy, but they feel much lighter um, on than they look. They also have, um, they're waterproof. And I, I like that they have, like, ah the zipper right here. So they're actually pretty easy to get on and off. You don't have to deal with this kind of nonsense. And um, yeah, look how cute they are from the side too. Um, yeah, these are really cute. These are really, really cute. Um, they, they're still sort of doing that like cut off my leg thing a little bit, um, which I guess is gonna happen when I'm wearing a tan boot as opposed to a black boot, because the dark skinny blended into the black one a little bit better. Um, but these have sort of like the right heft to balance um, like the big winter jackets and stuff. So yeah, I like these. Nice, and these feel like they would be insanely warm. So that's a plus. This, is, this feels like a little bit of a mismatch style-wise, um, but I, I'm okay, I like it. This coat feels almost cutesy. Um, these boots feel like much more like rugged, in the woods kind of thing. Um, but I would wear them together anyway, cause I don't care about these things. Um, I kind of like this like juxtaposition situation going on. So yeah. Okay. Yes. I would do this. Oh, this one's a no. The, um, they're like too close, but not quite right. So yeah, this is better. This is kind of like the tone on tone that I was going for. I really like this combination. Um, and then the dark one, the dark one still totally works. Um, I think the mid, the mid tone, um, full le leather is the best. This one has like a cooler undertone that doesn't seem to go as well with these boots. Okay. So these, these are super lightweight. These again, these are more like sneaker boots too, but they are waterproof. They feel like they might be warm. Um, obviously they're not going to be like as warm as like a big serious snow boot, but, um, yeah, they're pretty cute. Um, Okay, yeah, I can see myself much more likely to throw these on on the daily just because they do. This is like the winter equivalent of sneakers where the other ones I've tried on are pretty much like heavier, more snow boot-esque. So, um, yeah, these are, I, I like these. They come up high enough. They have like just enough shape, you know, just enough sportiness, I guess. Hmm not a bad option. All right. So here's what I was envisioning. Some sort of like fantastic, um, white puffer with, um, taupe and gray. See, it all kind of works. I had also in hoped to incorporate some sort of like seventies brown, um, jacket into my rotation. And this combination, hmm, what do you guys think? I don't know. This is, this is, um, this is not bad. I'll say that it's not bad, but um, let me try on some of the other ones because there's a couple other colors of this puffer. Um, this this color um, this color might be better with these. I can't tell, guys. Um, no, something's off. This one doesn't work. Hmm. Ooh, okay. So if I go like straight, just like dark chocolate brown, this is kind of a fun combination. All right. So once I went taupe, I was like, well, why not try gray? Um, Gray would also look really cute with a white puffer coat, but I'm not sure it would fare nearly as well with some of those like cool, like retro sort of camel um, and tan coats I was also eyeing up. So at some point I'm gonna have to make a decision here. Um, that said, these are really great. These are another like super lightweight, waterproof Sorrel. Um, feels way more like wearing a pair of sneakers, just a pair of winter sneakers. Um, yeah, darn it. I really like these. Hmm. All right. So here are the gray sneaker boots. 
um, with the super puffy white puffer. Um, so yeah, this is like a cute option, right? I don't know how I feel about the gray with the tan. Although now that I see it all together, it's actually not terrible. Hmm. There's definitely some potential here. Um, I could also change it up a little bit to um, go with more of a brown tone again. Not bad. Um, I think I like the I think I like the lighter color better with the gray though. Or I could just go straight like chocolate brown. Um, the chocolate brown and the gray is kind of nice. It's a little bit like unexpected and a uh, yeah. I don't hate this. What do you know? All right, here are those like just cute little sorrels, and yes, they work with a puffer. Still cute little sorrels. Yeah, they're fine. All right, once again, we have color problems. It's like they're too similar, um, but not. And yep, once again, that mid-tone um, leather puffer gets the win with the camel boot. Just easy. Hmm. This one is not as good as the mid-tone, but I think it's better than I was expecting it to be. So, you know. All right. All right, guys. So these little bad boys are moon boots. You guys remember those from yesteryear. Um, but yeah, they are, um, you got to see them kind of up close. They're like that sort of like houndstooth check. Um, yeah, these are really cute. Um, they are striking me as a tiny bit matchy matchy with the white on the, the top and the white coat. But um, I feel like I could get over that. Yeah, these are cute and they're super comfortable and I know they're warm. So yeah, let's try them on with the brown. Okay, um, hmm. The color, you know, it's kind of, it's actually, it's fine. It's a little matchy matchy, but I feel like for some reason this, uh, it's a little, no, actually I think it works. All right, so the mid-tone brown, um, it works fine. It works fine. It's funny, I actually think that because of the black and white in the shoe and the tan, I don't know. Um, hmm. These might look especially cute with a black puffer. I have to throw that on too, I think. For completeness sake, I'm trying them on with the dark brown puffer. And actually, I, I like, I think I might like this better than the mid-tone for sure. And maybe even better than the light tone. I think it's because the black and white is so grounding. Um, and then the tan and dark brown look good together. Um, yeah, this actually, I, I feel like this might be better balance. All right, so here's a guest appearance by my little black puffer. And yeah, um, black, I think definitely looks the best with these boots. So um, they're cute though, right? Yeah, not bad.